Hello there everyone and welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4 by Blood Alone with of course DLC and which we're playing is everyone's favorite Ethiopia Ethiopia, but we're doing adapt and improve Of course I might have read this last time, but by consulting with the military Industry leaders can gain experience expertise in what is really required on the battlefield and feed this back on their engineers This will prevent inadequate equipment being supplied to our troops and allow them to quickly make suggestions for improvement Which would be pretty nice Rapid industrial expansion, bomb proofing. Well, we went all the way to the right side anyway, so. How about rapid industrial expansion? Despite the heroic efforts of the people on the home front, we require even greater industrial capacity. We wish to remain free from foreign occupation. Therefore, we shall step up the pace of our economic plans and pursue even more rapid industrialization plans. Invest in the north, we're going to invest in pretty much every single area as much as we possibly can, so. Um, we do need to rebuild the country. Uh, power of the Ras versus uh, Orican versus the Parliament. Now, I did say we'd probably draw both sides, but we do have some comments to go through, though. Uh, but yeah? The Rastafarian movement has created an unexpected network of Ethiopia supporters across the globe. Many attribute a great religious significance to our emperor. Hey, Selassie. Some go as far as claim that he's an embodiment of God or miraculous Ja. Perhaps we can should utilize our international support by embracing the Rastafarian movement. Oh, that'd be cool. And Commonwealth, of course. Decision to form the Empire of Zion. Now, that's really awesome. And one true heir of Solomon, His Majesty House Selassie. He can trace his royal bloodline all the way back to the great King Solomon. While many nations have turned their backs on God, we Ethiopians have remained steadfast in our belief. In this age of chaos, it's only right that the one true heir of Solomon should reign over the Holy Land to protect it from the corrupting influence of man-made ideologies. Now, we could do the Abuna, but we honestly don't really need it, so... Um, let's go with invest in the West. The various regions of Ethiopia have access to a diverse range of resources. By investing in the West, we could rapidly increase the industrialization of the garment production and tap into existing expertise in the field, especially in the North. Machinery production is beginning to take place in the North of Ethiopia, which supports this development with increased investments to help expand this growing industry. Invest in the East. By investing in the East, we can take advantage of the region's historic trading network and turn the area into an industrial hub for processing the resources of Ethiopia ready for export. One. So we want to do this one. We take core states against the UK, but um, form uh, the Empire of Solomon. Uh, Palestine would be now core. And with the Central European Alliance, which hopefully they go to war with the Allies, which will make us or give us the ability to wage war against these guys too. Ooh. So they're killing each other, huh? Oh, hello. Republic of Social. You're back! You're not alone, but you're very heavily communist. French Italy. Oh, yeah, we took this last time, too. My bad. My apologies. I didn't realize that they were a puppet still. But, you know, it is what it is. As we try to rebuild the country. With full authority over our land restored, we can finally begin repairing the damage to our homes and industry caused by Italians. Um, expand the coffee industry? There's no shortage of people across the globe demanding access to coffee as one of the pr main primary sources of the delicious stimulant. I love stimulants. We should take advantage of this demand by investing in the coffee industry and increasing our export. Animal husbandry? We don't really have very much for cavalry, but we could try it. Horses and camels maintain a major role in the distribution of goods and transport of people across Ethiopia. We should increase investment in uh, animal husbandry to ensure that the supply and quality of these animals never decrease. Modernizing the industry. Um, for all states within regions I've been invested in, add a building slot. Oh. Um, one state in each region invested as one city spot. We have made great progress in increasing our district capacity in recent years. However, this will be an ongoing task with the demands of the economy shift. New methods of production arise as such. We shall strive to bring electricity and other industrial developments to the whole of Ethiopia and continue our economic modernization. So, some columns include we should try the Paulist Warband and Old World Blues. Someone says we should do the One True Heir of Solomon. Someone else says, uh, ah yes. What if uh, Ethiopia gave a Libyan land to Cuba the submits. Jose Agrippino Barnett has taken the wise decision to accept our overlordship. Cuba will be a loyal subject of Hayes Rossi. Now, I went ahead and just used Khan's commands for Ja, or Ya. Would be really cool to form the Empire of Zion and request Jamaica. Uh, the U.S. has accepted. Our humble request for the transfer of control of Jamaica has been accepted by the U.S. This marks the beginning of a new era. Glory to Hale Salas. He hopefully this means we can attract followers from across, all across the Americas. They have seen the light. Um, which overall is pretty darn cool and decent, so. Um, Imperial Cuban territories. Look at that. Dominican Republican submits. Also, I did improve relations as much as I could, so. And Haiti submits. That's kind of cool. So, I just wanted to see what that would be like. Um, of course, with this one, I really like the God of the Rastafari. <clears throat> Because we get, now we get more uh, stability, compliance, growth speed, daily compliance, which is plus 20% compliance, growth speed is nothing to laugh at. That's actually very, very good. Like, even though we're maxed out already here and here. Also, I did take out the Yemen just because we could. Um, we don't have enough garrison, which obviously makes sense. But uh, I think, let's see. Ethiopia is already a mighty empire, but it's not what it once was. And with the right guidance, it can become stronger than ever before. Um, requires all this stuff. Makes every state in the Caribbean and Florida coast that is controlled by Ethiopia or subjects 
nation, a core of Ethiopia. We've been with Empire of Zion. Now, I don't know if we can do both, but let me try the Empire of Zion. I can do both. That's cool. The Empire of Zion established, in a truly bizarre turn of events, the Emperor of Ethiopia, Haile Selassie, has embraced a fringe religious movement in the Caribbean known as Rastafarianism. Obviously not content with merely being an emperor, Haile Selassie is now being worshipped by the Rastafarians as a literal embodiment of God, or more specifically, Yah. Ethiopia finds itself has been reorganized as the Empire Zion, and it remains to be seen whether this religious upheaval will lead to changes in Ethiopian foreign policy or geopolitical instability. Glory to Yah. Which is pretty cool. Do we have any... Do we have anything? No, let's say Florid Floridian Coast. We have this as a core state, so if we really wanted to annex it, we probably could. Um, that'd be really nice. But we need more than 30 factors for this, which is, it takes forever. We might invite foreign prospectors, so we can come back and do this one some other time, so... Um, rather than striving to duplicate research and developments from abroad, we should utilize the expertise of foreign governments and businesses to help us better tap into our abundant natural resources. Invite foreign industrialists. <clears throat> we have massively improved our infrastructure and industry in recent years, making the utilization of natural resources far more efficient. However, we could also accelerate the development of our industry by inviting foreign experts and industrialists to operate in the Empire of Zion, which is very cool. Even though I do want to do this one as well, because we get a core state of Palestine, we get a decision to form the Empire of Zion. Uh, even though I did like getting claims and whatnot here, and we did get everybody that we wanted to. Um, I do want to see that. Maybe we could join the Central Alliance, because French have gone crazy. Poland is in two pieces. Polish and Lithuanian Commonwealth. Guaranteed by the Germans, even though Poland exists here, and they're separated into two different parts. Um, here's a faction map mode real quick, too, because this is weird. The Central European Alliance is fairly strong. We have the Latin Entente with the Allies, with the Soviet Union and the Allies, with the Greater East Asian Core Prosperity Sphere, with China being already taken over. Very strong. Um, so yeah, that's kind of where the world, Guatemala is kicking some serious Soviet butt, but that's where we're at currently, and I'll probably do some funky things to make sure that we can go to war with uh, the uh, UK and uh, hopefully get Palestine. Expand the Kabur Zabagadna. The Kabur Zabagna have proven themselves to be the best of the best within our armed forces. We should utilize their abilities with more uh, by improving their access to equipment and manpower, which we did already. We got one more division. Promote the war heroes. We owe our continued freedom to those heroes who risk their lives on the battlefield in order to maintain high morale and support for the armed forces. We should promote our war heroes to more prestigious positions, regional training centers. The Chitin is far from perfect. Our troops can be far more effective with the establishment of regional training centers to show them how to find, think tactically. So allows us to standardize military training without the need for a standing army. Well, sort of. Expand it. Um, with better support and training, the Chitin has become a robust and flexible military force. With well, a strong base to build upon, we should expand the Chitin to deter any foreign aggressor now. We're not going to do very well here, I'll be honest, just because, like, I did force the uh, Germans in the UK to go to war with each other, which is nice. And you know, the Latin Entente is, you know, they're struggling against the North American Syndicate, which is. Uh, these guys over here, so. I guess the Germans are taking them out, so. Um. I do enjoy the German faction. Fighter divisions are just really not that great. Especially since we have only these guys. They're only 21 combo with the support artillery. Uh, we're probably not going to do great here. We're probably all going to end up dying. But you know what else is new, you know? And if we don't do well, then, well, we've got ways of making them talk and walk. Regional supply depots first of all. Our troops will be unable to defend without ammo or food. After all, an army marches on his stomach. We should get make sure they always were well supplied by establishing regional military supply depots across Aksumite Empire, which we did become. The Aksumite Empire, we did get cores and all this stuff too, which is very nice. Well, maybe not everything here. Uh, we did take over Yemen because we could, and we're probably going to die doing this. So, um, yeah, this seems going to be kind of impossible. And they immediately start attacking us, which is fine, whatever. Can I join your faction? A de Democratic Party. Oh. Oh, I can join the Japanese faction. Well, I mean. We could try it. It's probably not going to go very well for us, but you know, whatever. Sure. Enemies, Australia, United States. No, we're good. Can you actually do anything over here, maybe? Yeah, maybe. You might be able to do something over here. We do have the Navy we did capture from our... I think it was Italy? Did we actually take them from Italy? Uh, we'll sign all the non-aggression packs and whatnot, but... Oh, crap. We're at war actually with the Allies now. That's not good. That's very really much not good. Um, seems to be doing okay, though, for now. Our Navy, though, is... Well... Protect the ships! Protect the ships! So we have some cam camels here too. Um, keep building ourselves up. Is Belgium with the Germans or not? 
Yeah, with the Germans. It's fine with me. Oh, hello. Here's the old neighbor we got here. A sunken convoy, which is nice. This is a uh, ships aren't very good, but you know what else is new? Oh, uh, can we not? Oh, we immediately are we conscripting more? I guess that's nice. Oh, look at this. Yay, we actually did something there. Yay. The Navy took over the RN Conte de Cavour. Very nice job, guys. Very good. I always believed that you could do it. Totally, always. Oh, you guys are done? Nice. Um, that's the case. You guys come back over here. We gotta get to Palestine. You, me, and Palestine. That's where we're going. Um, move the capital. I wanted to form the Empire of Solomon at least to see what it looks like, so. Uh, like I said, if we had to use Khan's command, so be a boat, you know, whatever it is, what it is. Oh, hello. Let's keep protecting us if we need to. Yeah, we are lacking manpower. Something fierce right now. Occupied territories. So, you know, this is where the extra divisions we could use would really come in handy. Oh! Um. Can we not do the. Uh. Call them G boys. Take these guys off. Because that'll save us a little bit here. It's a little better for us. But still, let's see what happens. Just go and get to the line where you need to go. Um, fleet and Bing, maybe? Our fleet kind of sucks. Go to the Japanese fleet, maybe. Up and out here. He's level 3? Not bad. Oh, look at that. He's learning a lot really fast. Look at the Raj. No, oh, Jesus Christ. He's learning fast. We probably lost a lot of ships, didn't we? We did lose one, which sucks. Um, yeah, I didn't, didn't think I'd, I'd end up playing today and trying to form and join the Japanese faction, but you know, here we are. Your train centers are nice. You have a college? Well, we could uh, expand them, though. Uh, if they've been researched. Add engineers, military police. Oh, you know what? Let's do this one first. If I remember to get that, we will you definitely use that. And come on. They are taking over this part of the empire, but I don't really care. Um, on that, I'm waiting for the Soviet Union to die, or the S S S R. But still, you know, whatever. Can you guys go in at all? Maybe, maybe not. Yes, no, maybe so. Uh, the Filipino division. Artemio, 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 Diaz. Did we just... We blew up more convoys. Very nice. Level 4. I love it. It's got no special traits, but I still love it. Oh, good too. We have no planes, which I don't love. Hello. Oh, let's we'll destroy. Come on. Come on, capital ship. Good. At least we sunk a convoy. Not worth it compared to the destroyer, but still. Bruh. We lost three of them. Bruh. That's good. We met the Germans over there, too. Still mobilizing? God, I hope so. Yeah, that was a pretty bad battle for us. Well, this is level 4 now. That's nice. Well, that division is going to die here, hopefully. 11% strength, not bad. Nice, if we cut these guys out of here, that'd be really good, actually. Ooh, I want to stop this fight. Up out there, they're almost all dead down there, which is really nice actually. Alright, I'll probably too. These guys are actually almost cut off as well. They take this tile, that'd be great. I don't think we'll get there in time, but you never know. And hey, United Mexican states are dead. So be it. Nice. So they bring up more civvies, alright. Now go and see what you can do. India. We can supply depot. Oh crap, I forgot about that. You know what? Instead of this one. It's fine. Our um, Asmara Naval College? Simply producing and maintaining a ship is not enough to constitute a navy. We require officers and specialists who are highly trained in how to utilize as naval assets in battle. Therefore, we shall establish Aksumite's Empire's first naval academy. Also, I didn't realize that you can only have changed 
uh, capitals one, so that's why I'm not using this axiom. We're still gonna wait for that one too. Oh. There you go. Nice. Help him out. If I help him out, we're gonna kill them all off. Down to the European Alliance, but what? Oh! Um. Where's the European Alliance? That no taunt. European no taunt. Dawn of the Central. Allies. That no taunt. That no taunt. You know, the Japanese have done extraordinarily well. Once they take out China, it's like no contest. Let's see, we've done 4%. We've lost 40,000 some odd, whatever. Just numbers. Don't worry about it. Your supply depots are nice. Keep moving on up. Get to the Suez. And finish them off here. That'd be nice. Ah. Are we going to these guys too? No, we're not. Which is good. Hey! Polish Romanian alliance, do they? Hey, I guess that Poland joined too. Nice. I'm gonna try to do that. I'm gonna try to do this. Just keep building, man. Maximite Empire, nice. Have they, have they given up? Hold on. Uh, They have still quite a few divisions, it looks like. Oh! And there goes the Soviet Union. Oh, Jesus Christ, it's been look so bad. Oh, Vladivostok. Uh. Oh, the Soviet Union's still here. What? I guess the SSR was destroyed, maybe? I don't know. I just told you guys to get all the way up here, didn't I? Go straight for Cairo. Growth of. Wait, what is this? Growth of Yemen. Oh, we get. Category Yemen's prosper is under the current rule. Agriculture output is increasing. The season villages are growing. Yeah, why not? Blow the Suez. Control Palestine and Sinai. Uh, Palestine. Tel Aviv. Of course, I support LGBT. Let's go bomb Tel Aviv. Don't quote me on that one. Iran. No, what not? Ooh, look at that manpower. Bruh. I just left to come back, man. I'm surprised at how what we're doing with these against these guys. I guess they have no one there too. Um Palestine. Do we not fully control Palestine? Is this Palestine? No, this is Jordan. I'll take these guys out first, we'll be fine. Oh, look at that, another encirclement. I love the encirclements. Ah, American Tanko boys. Nice. Now all four of you guys go here. Looking pretty good. Better than I thought it would be. You know, of course, that's where the British are just, you know, you know, busy with other things, whatever, you know. We don't talk about that. Oh! From the Empire of Solomon. Ah, the Empire of Solomon. The Empire of Solomon has now been established. Hail Salas, he's declared that due to his royal bloodline, it's supposedly stretching all the way back to the biblical King Solomon. He is a legitimate ruler of all of Palestine. The specter of yet another territorial grievance will doubtlessly spark fears in the capitals of the region, but it remains to be seen whether or not there will be geopolitical repercussions to Ethiopia's Solomonic restructuring. Glory to the one true heir of Solomon. Now, that's really what I wanted in this campaign, to get that. Political actions, foreign influences. Uh, wait. Can I not move my cap? Oh, wait, we already moved our capital, so there's no point in even seeing that, so. Because now our capital should be up here, right? I thought we our capital would be moved up to here. It's a core state of ours. Look at that manpower! Ooh! Nice. Manpower. No, uh, Japan. You have China. You have freaking China. You don't need any more manpower. What the heck are you talking about? Hey, but guess what? We met up with the rest of the Gold Prosperity Sphere. Who knew that only to be do the Empire. That you had to uh, join the freaking Go for Prosperity Sphere. But let's see if we can just at least knock out the rest of uh, these guys here. Lock them out of North Africa. 
Benghazi. Go, horse boys, go! Oh, that was a giant mistake by the British boys. Kill them all off there. Let them start. Uh, all divisions do not move. The camels are not moving. Bruh. A certified bruh moment. Good blow the Suez. In order to take Benghazi. Nice. Hey, if you're only about the Solomon Air Force, please go right ahead. Because that's what we're going to do next. I guess I didn't go this way either, but I don't want all these puppets as well. You know, that's kind of... Kick them out of North Africa. There's only one room for one emperor or the... Uh, yeah, pretty much. King of Judah. Here. That's going to be us. Come on, y'all. Not bad. 54% compliance is pretty good, actually. Wish we had more, but you know, whatever. Let's kick them out, boys. And girls. Nice. But I think I'm going to end it there because this one's looking pretty good. And we did what we pretty much wanted to. The Empire Solomon looks pretty freaking decent. Just had to join the Japanese sphere. I wanted to join the German sphere, but oh well. Oh. I guess the Germans are taking them out. Look at that. They, they, when is the last time you saw Germany invade Wales to invade the UK? Anyways, if you enjoyed the campaign, though, leave a fat like. Subscribe if you are new. Check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow in another campaign. Thanks for watching, and have a tremendous, tremendous, tremendous king or empire of Solomon rest of your day.